In this video, I'm going over making a beautiful, sexy terminal, so you'd actually love staying in it. God, I'm a dork. So to actually do this, I, the whole reason for this is one, it just makes Linux a much more enjoyable experience because I think a lot of Windows users coming to Linux or even longtime Linux users that are hesitant to go into terminal, which I'm not sure if that actually exists, but if you don't like being in terminal, it's probably because of the way terminal looks and feels. And once you learn to get around in terminal, it really unlocks a whole new world. It makes tasks that take one or two minutes to do in the graphic user interface, uh, you know, you can be done in literally seconds. So it's so powerful. And that's why I want users to get comfortable in terminal. And I think the very first step of that is making it look very pretty, very easy on the eyes to where you're able to really get in there and see something new that you haven't really seen before and you feel good about being in it and very comfortable. It, it takes a while for that to happen as far as the commands and the flow and getting around, but just having the aesthetics there really makes a world of difference. So when you actually launch into Terminal for the first time, you're presented something like this. And what happens is, as a Windows user coming into this, you look at it and you're like, oh, this is scary. It's crazy, you know. You think you're in some type of movie at this point. You're, you're looking at this terminal and, you know, all you're seeing is code. <laughs> and it's freaky. It just freaks people out. It's no good. So we need to fix that. So let's go ahead and fix our terminal. And the very first thing I recommend is getting away from the default terminals, whether it's K console terminal from uh, GNOME terminal or Xterm. This is a kind of an older one as well. I like to download a newer one. There's a ton of different flavors. Not one is particularly better than the other. I just like Terminator the best, kind of like the movie Terminator. Loved all of them. Well, at least the first two of them. But Terminator is a fantastic program. It's a little more sleeker than this. And I'm going to go ahead and flip over to Terminator from Xterm. This is just, I wanted to give you a showcase like an older version of Terminal. So let's go ahead and quit out of this. So this is what my full-blown Terminal looks like all the time. It doesn't normally look like this. When you first launch into Terminator you'll have this solid black background. The prompt will look more like this. And what you can do is come into here, go into preferences, and you can style it however you want. And once you've done all your settings here of how you like it set up, go ahead and I do like Smart Copy and Putty if you're real familiar with Putty come from Windows. I highly recommend that. Just know to get back into preferences, you have to hold the shift key and press the middle mouse button um, if you do Putty style paste. Uh, and if you don't know what that is, just don't do it <laughs> because it's kind of weird for people just getting in terminal. But I do like it just because I've worked in Putty for years and years. So with all the things set in global, I'm gonna go ahead and flip over to profiles. From per profiles, the very first thing I do is untick system fixed width font. I like mono space to give it that terminal look, but if you're feeling more comfortable with like an Arial or a Calibre, a more stylized font, by all means do it. I still like that terminal feel a little bit. That's why I choose mono space. And then of course, I like to have the big bold lettering. That's why I choose there. So from there, I also like to stylize and do it. I usually just go from a built-in scheme here and do green on black just because that's my personal preferences. But you can do something a little more, um, you know, stylized to where you can clear it up. If you don't like the dark theme and you want more of a light uh, console, you can totally do that as well. So with the color palette set, you have your console kind of looking what you need it to be. You still need that opacity that I talked about earlier. Go ahead and go to background, change it from solid color to transparent, and then I like to pull down the transparency to about 0.8, which is kind of nice because if you are got your terminal sitting over a screen, you can still see enough behind it, um, not enough to be distracting, but enough to where you can read whatever text is behind it. And then from here, that's pretty much all I do, but we're still left with this kind of console. So 
to really clean up this portion and get the nice bars so you don't have this really old school prompt. The first thing you need to do is sudo apt install fonts dash power line. And I'll also leave this in the description below. With fonts dash power line installed, it's time to beautify our bash prompt. And we do this by using a GitHub page. I'd love to take credit for this, but I actually took this from someone else on GitHub and I went ahead and just copy paste or I actually forked their project and I just copy paste it into my bash RC file, which we're going to do right now. So if you go to Chris Titus tech dash scripts on my GitHub, again, it'll be in the description below. You're going to want fancy bash prompt dot sh. Now, I don't like to run scripts off the internet or any of that. So what I end up doing is I just end up copying from right here to here. But um, just to give credit to the person that did create this, Andres Gangora, as the actual author, author of making Bash Script look beautiful, at least this version of it, which is kind of nice. So uh, let's go ahead and copy this entire thing into our bash rc so what i'd like to do is actually go into the raw file just so we don't get a, a number or something crazy in here so from here we'll just go to functions and scroll all the way down to the eof and then i just copy um, we don't need any of this bottom part pass on un unset bash prompt so with that let's go ahead and since we're currently running as root we will actually change root to have a stylized prompt as well so um, normally you would do it from here so you would do a nano dash bash rc so we're going to do root dot bash rc and from here we're going to just paste all this in and write it out so with that done let's go ahead exit clear exit we'll go ahead and close this and then we're going to relaunch terminal now if we did this right when we switch user to root root also now has the fancy stylized prompt so uh you can kind of change it whatever user you're logged in as go to their home directory which is for me is home dash titus and then do a ls dash al and you'll actually see the dot bash rc file right here this is the file that controls how the, the actual bash prompt looks. And that's why we changed that specific file. But when I switched user to root, you saw the unstylized because I hadn't done anything to roots bash RC file. So I wanted to explain those two things of stylizing prompt. Some people just stylize their user like me, but since I was doing this video, I was like, hey, I might as well stylize root, which if you look right here, you can see we're running as root and this is what we're running up here. So it's a really cool way to make prompt or, or terminal like just look really incredible, real sexy. And it makes being in here just get you so much more comfortable doing it. So uh, by all means, stay in prompt and, and learn terminal. Because if you're being on Linux, you might as well learn terminal just because you can do things so much faster. Yes, there's other ways to do it all in the graphic user interface. But why gimp yourself? Why add minutes of time onto tasks when you could just simply type one command in and accomplish the same thing? So that was it. That was making the terminal look beautiful. Let me know in the comment section down below what are your guys' thoughts. And also, a very special shout out to all my patrons that make these videos happen day in and day out. Thank you guys so much. And I'll see you in the next video.